Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the recently released Terror. So this one was like a bit of a hodgepodge of all different figures, which I will bring in when we actually get to open it. Let's go through the card art on this. So this, I don't think this was ever released. It was just a comic book character. But there he is on the back with Shirella there. And obviously the white castle there at the back. On some dinosaur gadget thing going on. You've got the cross cells. So it's telling you what he comes with. So he's got the extra neck. He's got some removable um, weapons on his arm. And then it's got the release. So he come out with like Lord Grass. Sorry for the uh, backdrop display. I'm in the middle of decorating and I wanted to get this round with you so the lighting is pretty poo really. But let's crack this in and let's get this open and have a little closer look. So he comes with his mini comic. This is the EU version so it doesn't have an actual title. But we've got, uh, let's see... Let's see what's going on. There's the new Viper coming out there. It's got all about Lady Slither. Reptilax there. So if you know what this... If you've got the actual comic book with the actual speech bubbles in, let me know. Drop us a comment. What's the actual story all about for that one? So he comes in parts, he's got that little tail thing going on and it's just a little push clip but this is in the way. Does this arm pop off? Does that come out? No. So I'm just going to try and slide. So it doesn't actually, see it would actually hang over. So I'm going to try and slide it underneath and give it a clip. So all I've done was just prise that back a bit to slide it under and then easily just slot it in. So he comes with all like the usual um, pop off type of parts. So you've got the legs, the head, the arms. Well the actual uh, boots will pop off as well. Uh, and they're all on the actual flexible joints that we've all seen with these Origins. But, as colours, so you have got like that two-tone striking purple and the jet black. And, like I say, he's a bit of a hodgepodge. But I think it's of just four different type of figures. I think the first obvious one is his mug, which is going to be whiplash there. And it is just a simple repaint of his head his boots have come from mosquito there again it's just a simple like flat silver finish on it um, his chest his chest let's have a little look I think his chest has come from like another snake type of figure I'm not too sure. I think the arm has come from Ratlaw because his tail is Ratlaw's as well. But I thought the chest. Yeah, I think the chest is Ratlaw as well. The actual belt on there. His legs, I think, are mosquitoes as well. And then the armature is obviously trap jaws, exactly the same as well. And he comes with the little gripper type of clamp. So I'll just peg that one in. He comes with the actual blaster accessory as well. 
and also the actual hook but there, um, there's nothing to actually hold them onto where Trapjaw has them on his tool belt he's got no hooks for these and he comes with the extendable neck like Ratlaw does as well I'll just pop his head off pop his neck in and his head back on and there he is with the extendable neck so with the, the neck is just the two tone purple and red on there as well I mean like a kit bash hodgepodge type of figure but I, th I still think he's cool so and there it is without the actual um, the paint applications of the parts that they've actually used to get this guy together as well so like I say it's Whiplash, Ratlaw, Mosquito and Trapjaw one that I would never thought would ever have been released as well but let me know your thoughts in the comments box what do you think of it, have you guys gone and picked this up uh, and again what's the comic book all about as well if you've got the US version with the speech bubbles let me know the average like the overall story of what it's all about and do the usual with the like comment subscribe it really does help me out but thanks for checking in on this one and I will see you on the next take care